हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार सो लेट सॉल्व वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम डिफरेंशियल कैलकुलस बेस्ड ऑन लेबनीज थ्योरम सो इट सेज इफ वाई पावर वन बाय एम प्लस वाई पावर माइनस वन बाय एम इज टू एक्स वी हैव टू प्रूव दिस इक्वेशन ओके सो व्हाट इक्वेशन वी हैव बीन गिवन इक्वेशन इज वाई पावर वन बाय एम Now second one because power is negative, so I can write that as one upon y power one by m. I can take that two x to the left hand side. Now I can write this as y power one by m square minus two x. y power one by m plus one equals to zero. Fine. Now this is a quadratic in y power m y m. Uh, sorry, y power one by m. it is a quadratic if you assume y power 1 by m same to be t let's say so t square minus 2tx plus 1 okay so how to solve this uh you can use the quadratic formula so y power 1 by m equals to minus b so minus of 2x That is two x plus minus under root b square. That is minus two x square minus four a is one c is also one divided by two a. So y power one by m. Is equal to four x square minus four. I can take four out, so that will become two x plus minus four comes out as two under root x square minus one divided by two. So I can now write y power one by m. Equals to if I cancel two out, so I will get x plus minus under root x square minus one. Okay, fine. Now if I take log on both sides, so first of all, before taking log, let's do. Power m on both sides, so I will get y equals to x. So this will become x plus minus under root x square minus one power m. Okay. So fine. Now, if I take log on both side, so I will get log y equals to log. so by the properties of log m will come in front so log y equals to m log x plus minus under root x square minus 1 
now if i differentiate both side from here so differentiate both sides with respect to x so in the left hand side we have log y so derivative of log y is 1 by y and that of y will be y 1 so write subscript 1 equal to. in the right hand side I have m log of something. So again, m will remain there only. Derivative of log is 1 upon log x plus minus under root x square minus 1. We will go inside. Derivative of x is 1. Derivative of x square plus 1 is 1 upon Uh, 2 derivative of uh, 1 upon derivative of root x is 1 upon 2 root x again further go inside you get x square plus 1 whose derivative is 2 x so 2 gets cancelled you are getting uh, 1 by y y1 is equal to m times 1 upon x plus minus under root x square minus 1 and this is your uh, under root x square minus 1 plus minus x or you write x plus minus under root x square minus 1. Both are more or less the same thing. Okay. This divided by uh, under root x square minus 1. So this bracket gets cancelled. So you get uh, and uh, you can square both sides. So 1 upon y square, y1 square is equal to m square divided by x square minus 1. Okay, so I can take this to the other side and y square to the other side. So x square minus 1, y1 square is equal to m square y square x square minus 1 y1 square is m square y square now again differentiate with respect to x with respect to x so in the left hand side I have x square minus 1 y1 square. So product rule x square minus 1 as it is. Derivative of y1 square. So first square so 2 will jump y1 power 2 minus 1. And then the derivative of y1 which will be y2. Okay. 2 denotes that I have differentiated it 2 times. 1 denote I have differentiated it once. Plus y1 square as it is derivative of x square minus 1 is 2x ok and in right hand side I have m square y square m square as it is derivative of uh, y square is 2y and derivative of y is y1 ok so x square minus 1 2y1 y2 plus 2y1 square x minus 2 m square y y1 equals to 0 
as you can see we can uh, remove or throw 2y1 in RHS and that will become 0 so I am left with x square minus 1 y2 and then you have uh, 2 x y1 sorry 2 is also not there simply x y1 and here I have minus m square y equals to z. Now differentiating n times by Leibniz theorem Leibniz theorem का इस्तेमाल करके n times इसको differentiate करेंगे So you will get Now how to use Leibniz theorem uh, and the derivative uh, you can uh, choose functions whose derivative ends up giving you 0 so this will be 0 so this will be 0 okay so this will differentiate and write its end derivative so nc0 I am solving for first so nc0 x square minus 1 as it is differentiate y to n times so this is already differentiated 2 times differentiate it more n times so it will now be differentiated n plus 2 times plus n c1 okay x square uh, sorry uh, x square minus 1 is derivative is 2x y n minus 2 ka ek derivative come uh, so that will become one derivative less is y n plus 1 plus nc2 derivative of 2x is 2 one more derivative less that will give you y this we have done only for this now coming to the second so for second one we have x y1 so nc0 x as it is differentiate y1 n more times so n plus 1 it will become plus n c1 derivative of x is 1 1 derivative less of n y n plus 1 will be y n now if i differentiate it once more it will become 0 and it will uh, continue becoming 0 in all next step same was true in the last uh, portion also so we have done for this also now again the last one is for m square y which is simple because uh, nth derivative of y will be y n so minus y square sorry minus m square y n equals to 0 so n c 0 is 1 so you are left with x square minus 1 y n plus 2 n c 1 is n so 2 n x y n plus 1 from here and n c 0 is 1 so x y n plus 1 from here so 2 n x from here x from there so 2 n plus 1 times x and common was y n plus 1 now n c 2 is n n minus 1 divided by 2 n n minus 1 divided by 2 and that will cancel with this 2 so you are left with n square minus n so if I take yn common, collect all the terms containing yn, 
so i am getting n square and n square minus n from here and nc1 is n only so plus n from here and from the last term i am getting minus m square so plus n minus 1 n gets cancelled so finally what i am getting x square minus 1 y n plus 2 plus 2 n plus 1 x y n plus 1 plus n square minus m square y n equals to this is what i am finally getting let's check x square minus 1 y n plus 2 2 n plus 1 uh, 1 x y n plus 1 and n square minus m square y n Fine. So again, slowly we did this question. You can uh, follow your pace as and when you know the concept and you have a lot of uh, practice available. So treated this as quadratic, solved it, took the log, then differentiated first time, differentiated it again. Okay, then applied. Uh, Leibniz theorem and differentiated n times by using Leibniz theorem, and finally got the answer. It point to be noted that n c zero is one, n c one is n, and uh, n c two is n, n minus one divided by two. So if you know this uh, small things, this question was a piece of cake for you. That's it from my side. Thanks and have a nice day.